guys, this is Metal Days 160, and today I bring you a game called FTL, Faster Than Light. Um, this is an indie game made by Subset Games, and this is a space adventure, or I'd say a ship ship simulation. Um, it's a really good game, really, really, really good game, high replay value since every single map is randomly generated so I love these randomly generated games because each time you play it's something new and this game doesn't it's what doesn't sell this game is its graphics its graphics is pixelated so those of you looking for huge graphics like Battlefield or Call of Duty mm, yeah you're not gonna get it here but that's not a downside because the graphics are... I actually like them. They're really cool. And the gameplay is really awesome. So, let's get started. And I'll start explaining the game while I'm playing it. So, here we are. This is the ship selection. Um, for Right now I have three ships to select. There are quite a few ships, actually. Um, here's the list. But you unlock the rest of these ships by completing different achievements. So the ship that I will use for this little review thing is this one. Um, this is the ship that you start out with. So if you guys buy the game, um, this is the sh this is your first ship. So just so you guys can get a little familiar with this, um, the ship has two types of layouts. But in order to get the second layout, which I didn't, uh, you have to complete two out of three achievements, which these achievements are really hard. Um, so anyway, let's continue with this. Each ship has its own characteristics, which you can see right here. In the shield, engine, oxygen, weapons, med bay, piloting, cameras, and camera system, and doors. Uh, most ships have the more or less the same layout. Um, this one, for example, has a drone... Uh, sector, which means that you can create drones, uh, repair drones, battle drones, um, flight drones, right, right from the get-go. Uh, but let me focus on this ship since this is the one that we're going to be using. This is the crew that it comes with, all humans, and these are the weapons that it comes with: one missile, uh, one missile, fire, uh, missile weapon thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, and a laser. Um, the missiles, of course, it uses up missiles. I'll explain that later. Um, so here, the good, what I like about this is that you can rename the ship. So let's rename it The Days. And you can also customize your crew. So let's say here, let's create me. So there's a guy, and we'll call the Metal Days. All right, or in this case, days. Yeah, let's just rename them days since it's not going to appear. <coughs> Sorry. So yeah, so here are different augmentations. Um, some ships come with augmentations, but since this is the first ship, it doesn't really come with anything. So it's a really simple ship. So for the sake of this video, let's play an easy. Otherwise, I'm you know I'm going to run into problems right from the get-go. So let's start. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get, <coughs> excuse me, but get to the get the uh, get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Tip: Beams. Beam weapons do damage based on the number of rooms they hit. Each shield bubble will block one damage of beam. Okay, so basically, the beams. It's it's, it's another weapon. Um, if you buy the game and you play it, you'll see what the beams do, but for the sake of this video, I will explain only what we have here. Um, this is the, this is the whole game screen right here. It doesn't really change. Uh, you have your hull life here. If there's damage to the hull, this will decrease and change color to yellow, and then if you're really bad, it will change to red. Um, these are your credits, or as the game calls it, scrap. Um, which you will collect when you defeat uh, enemy ships or just come across different things in your quest. Um, these are you, this is the fuel that you have. Each jump 
that you do. Each jump to a different part of the sector requires one fuel. Uh, these are your missiles. You do not have unlimited missiles, unfortunately. Because <laughs> later on, unfortunately, um, later on, infinite missiles would really be a help. Be, really be of help, but this why that's why this game is really hard because you you can run out of everything. These are your drone parts. Now, since I don't have any drones on this ship, I don't need them. That's why it's in red because I don't have the drone section installed. I can install it, but we're not going to do that now. Um, evade 10%. That means that you can evade attacks, but it's only going to evade 10% of the attacks. If you take somebody out of the piloting room, like let's say if if you don't have anybody uh, piloting the ship, you will see that it would definitely it would go to zero basically so every single attack will hit you and you can't jump from your spot so you're gonna need somebody here piloting and right here well right here is your oh sorry oh let's go in order here here's your oxygen if this gets damaged your oxygen will will keep lowering until it reaches zero until it repairs um, that'll happen if the oxygen room is damaged or if there's a hull breach and you don't have blast doors. Um, the blast doors basically uh, contain the damage in a room. Like if there's a hull breach right here and you're losing oxygen, it would only lose oxygen in this room. It won't extend to the rest of the ship. Same with a fire. If a fire breaks out in this room or in, or in any other room, if you have blast doors on, uh, the fire will be contained in this room so you, you can still continue on with the battle and not worry about the fire spreading everywhere um, this is this is your crew information you can um, you can recruit more people as the game progresses so the list can expand there are different races too right now we are all humans uh, there are many different races so and each race has its own traits has its own perks um, right here at the bottom, this is the power section. Uh, this is where you can distribute uh, power uh, to different parts of the ship. Uh, so here I have three power bars, so I can distribute it to the weapons section right here. So now my weapons are operational. Now if somebody attacks, I can attack back. Um, th this is all your... you can click on auto fire. I don't click on auto fire because I like to select where I'm shooting at. Um, we'll get into that in a bit. This is your; these are your subsystems. This is the piloting area. This is the piloting part. This is the camera part. Uh, if this, if this has no power, like if I do that now, if I, uh, I can't take away power from it now. But um, this basically lets you see every single room in the ship. If this gets destroyed or runs out of power, you won't be able to see any room unless there's a guy from your crew in that room and these are the door systems all these systems you can upgrade same with this you can always upgrade the systems um, by going into ship and upgrade the each part costs credit cost uh, credits or scrap um, you can also uh, upgrade the power bars and everything is upgradable here you have your crew. You, you're allowed up to <clears throat> sorry. You're allowed up to eight crew members, and here's the equipment that you have. So it's really complex, but it's it covers every detail, which is good. And these are your shields. You can have up to four four layers of shields, which is <laughs> later on it's going to be really important. So each room. This is the uh, cabin. This is where your pilot is. This is the camera room, the door room the med bay. If your guys are getting injured, if some enemies somehow make their way on, onto your ship and attack your guys, your guys will lose health. So if you want to replenish the health, you're going to have to bring them here to the med bay. Unless you get an upgrade for the med bay, which basically cures everybody on the ship no matter where they are. Here's the uh, weapons room, the oxygen room, and the engine room. If any of these get destroyed, they will not function, which is logical. So let's get on with the game. This is the map here. So each jump, this is a jump here. So each jump will require one fuel. So, and we have to get to the exit. 
we have to get to the exit because the rebels are pursuing us. So, um, we have to try and get to the exit with the least amount of jumps possible. So here we go. Let's go here. You barely have time to register a jump completion before your ship warns you of an incoming ship with weapons hot. Okay, so right off the right off the bat, somebody's attacking us. So I hit the pause button, which is a space, and let's plan our attack. Let's see. I choose to attack their weapons and their shield. So this way, if I destroy their weapons area, they can't attack me, and if I destroy their shield area, hmm, every hit every shot that I fire will do damage. So I destroyed their weapons area so let's concentrate all fire on their shield. Oh, keep on missing. Jeez. Come on. Come on. Destroy it. And as you can see, each um Okay, so their shields are kind of screwed up now. So as you can see, each weapon takes time to charge. So you're gonna have- oh, I'm just wasting missiles here like crazy. Okay, their shields are down. Let's get their weapons and their oxygen. Oops. Come on. Okay, so we basically destroyed him. There you go. So when you destroy a ship, you get different things. This time I got fuel, missiles, and scrap. Okay, great. Since they didn't they didn't get my hull, I still have full health. So let's go through here. Again another ship. You detect a rebel automated ship. Uh, let's not provoke it. For the sake for the sake of this thing I want to get to the <laughs> exit before my time runs out. It's only have three minutes left to do. Your scans reveal... or... okay, no signs of life detected. Alright. Most of the time, if you're in a civil... if you're in a civilized, uh, or a civilian sector, you won't... No, you have to ignore it anyway. You won't get, um... You won't get attacked. A lot. You may get attacked, but it's not gonna be... Okay, let's avoid conflict. So we can keep going. So, oh, here we go. We got, to, we got to a store. I'll explain the civilian sector, the sectors and all that when we get to the end. Um, find yourself surrounded by... Uh, they hail you and apparently have some valuable technology for sale. Okay, so this is the store. Here you can get fuel, missiles, drone parts. Uh, they sell you different systems so you can install them in your ship so you can uh, get more more out of uh, more out of your ship. Uh, augmentations, repair. Sometimes they have crew members here you can recruit. Sometimes they have drones you can buy. You can also sell stuff, so which is good. Let's keep going. We got. To, oh, they, there's sometimes some distress part will uh, will show up. This is you going to help somebody out or anything. And if you help them out, then they will give you a nice reward. But Let's go to the exit. Okay. Mm, no, I'm not going to buy drone parts. Sometimes you'll encounter somebody trying to sell you things, so reject their offer. Okay. So here is the rebel fleet that's pursuing you. Now, if you get stuck in one of these, <laughs> it's going to be it's going to take a while to get out because they're going to they're they're gonna attack you and it's not gonna be an easy attack so you better not get stuck here you have to get to the exit before these guys get you so let's go to the next sector I'll quickly explain this sector here um, the green the green spots are civilian sectors the red are hostile and the purple are nebula so the green sectors you barely get attacked the red sectors you get attacked almost always and the nebula mm, your systems won't work as well as they do in the other sectors and you might get attacked and you might not so here we are so anyway this is the game this is FTL and you have to do this you have to jump about seven sectors in order to get to your last uh, in order to get to the to the Federation ships to give them the plans that you stole like Star Wars so 
this is the game. It's it's a simple layout, but the game is pretty complex, and it's really fun. Really high replay value, so I really recommend it. Uh, you can get it on Steam. And, um, yeah, so if you want me to do a Let's Play of this game, I'd gladly do it. And, um, so yeah, so this is, uh, this is the end of the, uh, review. I hope you liked it. Uh, please subscribe and like, uh, and comment. Um, yeah, so this is Metal Days, signing off.